What's up guys? Welcome back to another great episode of Three Pound Fishing. I gotta tell you, I get asked this question all the time. Or I'll tell you what, I see this problem on guide trips a lot. People setting the hook. Just sometimes it doesn't really get the fish in the boat, right? So I've been asked, I've had this question asked several times now and I got asked again, so that's what's prompting this video is, how do you set the hook? How do you make sure we get the fish in the boat? So we're gonna go through some really simple things that I do that I think help get the fish in the boat. Um, and that in particular, setting the hook, making sure that you're getting the fish in the boat by setting the hook. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. But we're gonna catch a lot of fish. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're in the evening, which I love fishing. The lake is quiet. The sun's going down. We'll probably have a sunset at the end of this episode. Uh, and I appreciate you. Check it out, here we go. All right, let's start off with something really simple, okay? I'm just gonna talk about jig heads real quick. Now, regardless of the brand of jig heads that you guys use, I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's extremely important to know that the barb is there. Sounds elementary, I know, but I'm just telling you from time to time, barbs will get knocked off of fish hooks. And well, plain and simple, it's easy in and out for the hook in a fish's mouth. So I always verify from time to time, to be honest with you, that I still have a barb on it. I haven't ever had a problem with mine in particular, but I could tell you that I was on a guide trip and the guy was fishing, he lost like three fish and he's like, what's going on here? And he looked at his, his hook and sure enough, so uh, just, you know, check your equipment first, hook first, make sure that you've got everything you need. It's a nice sharp hook. And uh, that's without a doubt, number one. Man, those look like great fish. First drop of the evening. Hopefully you guys can appreciate those fish right there. They look really good. And there it is. Man, did that not take long. We're gonna find out what we got. Definitely doesn't feel big. Oh, that's not a big fish. Man. It... Good fish right there, great fish. All right, the other thing I'm really a big believer in, and that is fishing with braid. Regardless of the brand that you use, um, braid allows you to set the hook firm, precise, quickly, and I think braid is a really incredible product that allows you to set the hook with confidence. Anytime I see somebody with mono, and you know, obviously we all went through the, that process of going through mono, fluoro, and braid, but braid gives you the ability to immediately set the hook and set it firmly. Mono has such a stretch that sometimes I wonder if they're late to the bite, whether or not they're truly ever setting the hook properly or, or well enough. So a lot of times today, even, you know, the guy, he had mono on and I knew he had a lot of stretch. So unless that fish fully commits, mono has such stretch that I think it just, especially with a black crappie, uh, you have to be so quick that you can't set it quick enough with mono because of the stretch. Not to say you can't catch fish with mono, because I know you can. I'm just saying that braid is definitely an advantage in terms of setting the hook. Now, most people are going to say, well, they're paper mouths and braid will rip it out of their mouths. I'm not a big believer in the paper mouth, you know, theory. Um, I'm setting the hook. Um, I don't set it like a bass. I think that you can do it without having to, to do too much action, especially if you have braid. Um, but I definitely think braid helps the process of setting the hook and getting the fish in the boat. Mm. Mm, man. Mm. Good fish right here. Now, in setting that hook, I didn't have to set it too hard. Um, that's what makes it a beautiful when you have a rod with good backbone with the perfect tip action, in my opinion, braid, a sharp hook, you're gonna bring fish in the boat, but you have to set the hook. Whether you're using mono, fluoro, regardless, 
when you set the hook, even as the fish is coming up, you're wanting to, you know, kind of keep setting the hook. If you have any concerns or thoughts that you didn't set the hook, you need to keep kind of pushing and setting the hook, essentially. Sounds kind of elementary, but I think people need to hear that. That's a slab. Let them go. As you guys know, guide trips are going awesome. Busiest summer I've ever had. Um, it's been awesome. You can still book for June. Um, obviously, there's availability in July and August. The fishing is fantastic in those months. If you're interested in booking, just call me at 618-694-5162. Uh, or just go to 3 fishing at gmail.com. So guide trips, awesome. We can go through your electronics. I've been doing a lot of boat trips over to Rin Lake where we take somebody else's boat and we go through the electronics. So the electronics guide trips have definitely picked up for sure. So I can get on your boat, we can fish with your system, we can make sure that you have the best picture possible, <coughs> which I think a lot of people value. So if you're interested in that too, that's what we can do. So yeah, got the Hammer 10. Come on now, come on now. Doesn't get any better than that. Beautiful ride. Feedback has been incredible, I've been excited about it. So, all right, let's get some fish. Oh yeah, not much of a hook set needed, folks. Look at the size of that red ear. That's the biggest red ear I've ever caught on this lake. Look at that. That is a beautiful fish right there. Setting the hook. A lot of red ear on the piles right now. I don't know why. Tell me if you have that issue or have you seen that at your lake? It seems like I've got a lot of red ear right now on on these piles. Mm, and that is a hook set right there, folks. Good fish here. Oh man, what a beautiful night. What a beautiful night. Now let's talk about hook set flip it boat flipping or using a net more times than not when i'm out fishing by myself i'm typically gonna boat flip them constantly it's good to have a good solid rod in your boat to do that um, but when i have my hog fishing net in the boat i use the six foot handle and i'm always got that available during tournament time but with a good solid hook set you're not going to have a problem ever getting the fish in the boat not if you're using high quality braid, something that can handle the weight and the structure that you're fishing around. All right guys, that's gonna end it. Check, check out this sunset, check it out. Ooh, it doesn't get any better than that. So hook sets, braid, your rod, sharp hook. You don't have to tug on it big time if you've got those three, three, those three, those three things in line without a doubt you do not need to set the hook like a monster you can just do nice easy wrist and it's got to be quick it's got to be quick braid helps out a ton i'm gonna tell you right now and it's a nice rod with good backbone so anyway i appreciate you guys for watching and thanks for subscribing and all that great stuff and uh yeah we got a lot of stuff going on and uh look can't wait to share the the additional stuff that's coming out <laughs> all right guys have a great one check that out that is that is that is special what that is